know, I'm never gonna get over this view. It's just, it's just so magnificent. I mean, holy crap. I love it. I love it. Unfortunately, I have not touched this thing since the last episode. Hey guys, it's Dan, by the way. Welcome back. Haha. <laughs> it's time for more Diamond Society action. Um, but I have been doing some work elsewhere in the house. Uh, oh, yeah, we got a staircase here. Ooh, look at that. Staircase. Magnificent. Great, in fact. Uh, we also have a little bit of work here. Pick that up. Inside the one and only a greenhouse. So, I've had to do a little bit of modifications to this thing, and uh, one thing you will notice, of course, is we've actually got rid of a lot of those uh, pressure plates. There's a problem with those pressure plates. And that problem is, all this wheat you see before you, before your very eyes, actually uh, gets thrown on top of those pressure plates. <laughs> it's a little bit of an oversight. So, my brain juice kind of told me, you know, make this thing look kind of cool. And, unfortunately, the design I had to alter quite a bit. We also have hoppers in here now. We cannot have just the regular stream. There's too much flow back. Too much flow back creates dead spot, makes not plants happy for time. Um, you know, actually, we're kind of a little bit full here. I want to test this out and see if I fix things. I did move the lever from where I had last time. I've been doing some, some stuff here, too. We'll go over this here in a minute. Um, but we've actually got quite a, a, quite a big crop growing here. I want to test this out and see if it's going to flow the way I want it to. I have not tried it since a lot of uh, head scratching, so hopefully this works. Pop that. Okay, so far so good. Pop that. Alright, everything's flowing. Well, there's a bit of a problem already. Let's see. I guess it's not too much of a problem because you can just come over here and uh, pick it up. But uh, it looks like I have to leave this running for a little while. And that's primarily the reason why I don't have it be like one of those like flicker switches. Like uh, you hit it. Oops, there's already stuff getting popped off up there. Um, because it's just going to like get stuck here somewhere. So we're going to have to basically make it semi semi-automatic. I want it to be a little bit more fancier than this, but unfortunately my, my skill to do so is, is very limited, and um, I don't want it to be much bigger. But here we go. We got ourselves a little collection chest down here. All the stuff that's in this section will be harvested here. All the stuff that's in this section will be harvested here. Potatoes. Excellent. You know, I thought I had some carrots somewhere, but apparently I do not. Let's replant these beetroot seeds. I don't know what to do with beets. Can you just eat them? Huh, apparently you can. Interesting. I mean, I, I, isn't there like a, a beetroot stew or something? I, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what you do with beetroot. I'll have to figure that out. Um, anyway, for today, what I want to work on is uh, extending the farm, actually, because uh, we need to make a space for whatever else we want to plant out here. And uh, this room is not big enough for exactly everything that I had in mind. That's more potatoes. More potatoes for me. Um... So, let me pop over this way and I'll show you exactly what I've been doing. Uh, there's gonna be some cool design work. This, we'll, we'll come back into here. Don't worry about it. We'll come back into here and we'll talk about design here in a minute. But I've created a walkway going out this way and it kind of works out perfectly. Because this pops us out exactly right over here. Right underneath um, our little Ewok hut. <laughs> it's not really an Ewok hut, but whatever you want to call it. And it kind of puts us out in here. And I kind of want to have additional garden space. And I'm thinking, we need to move these reeds out. Um, I'm not sure about the chorus fruit. I mean, I don't want it there, obviously, because that's that's stupid. Why would you put it there? So I'm going to have to transplant that. I just don't know if I want to put it out here. I guess we can. I guess we can. But uh, I have a lot of terraforming to do out here, and I need to think of a design. And I'm thinking it's not going to be an indoor greenhouse. It might be more like a, like a vineyard. No? You kind of feel me? So I might try to go for something like that and just make rows of the plants and then have like maybe water behind it for the for the reeds and something like that. I don't know, I gotta think of some stuff. My brain juice is not flowing very great on this subject right now, so. Uh, anyway, let's go back into the subject of design out here. One of the main things that I'm kind of working on to my advantage, oh, the tree grew, excellent. So, in this greenhouse, I want there to be actual like trees and stuff and this might actually need to be shaved off a bit or we could have this domed up a little bit. Hmm. Not necessarily be a bad thing. Oh, I fall. 
So right here is going to be windows, and there's going to be like, you know, stone brick around it. Kind of use your brain juice here a little bit. We're not quite at the, uh, the major points of building yet. But I kind of wanted to create an indoor, like, uh, terrarium sort of thing, but unfortunately the, the garden kind of takes up a good, a good portion of the space that I have available here. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm going for, and I've been playing around with dirt, you know, as you do. Uh, I need to take a look at this. Let's pop up here and see how well this works into our design. Um, it kind of does. I would need to start this a little bit higher, maybe uh, about here. I want to have at least one space for that, so if we were to do that, it would need to be on top of that. So right here? Nope. I mean, I can always make a fake tree. That's definitely a thing I can do, but I want to try to make it at least a little bit natural. So, okay. Alright, this is going to be such a weird building. Um, I mean, because I don't really want... The main reason why I have this brick slab going through here, or, or not slab, line going through here is because this is kind of lines up with uh, the roof that I have and I guess uh, you know you know uh, like uh, greenhouses do have you know some space in uh, their design where it kind of arches up a little bit does it not I believe it does and then we'll have this go along the front kind of like this yes this will work out this will work out I, I, you know, honestly, I don't know quite exactly how I want the flooring to go in this uh, this room. I kind of want to keep it natural, as I've already said, but on the other hand, I kind of want to perhaps consider... Uh, how did this get lower? Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, we can, we can bump this up now, can't we? Because this is going to be arched. All right. Uh, line this up here? Okay. Oh, actually, let's take down the stone brick. We're going to need it anyway. Yeah, so I kind of want to try to create this thing, make it a little bit more natural inside here. Oh, yeah, okay. Flooring. I want to talk about flooring in here, briefly. <laughs> so, I don't really have a brick in mind in here because the brick that I want to put in does not exist. Like, in my brain juice, it's saying to me, Dan, you should probably put in, like, a multicolored, like, stone brick. Kind of like if... So, imagine, if you will, like, a gra granite... Not granite. Gravel. Gravel block. You know, it's kind of got that, that speckled look. I kind of want one of those, except, like, multicolored. Like, maybe, not, you know, not, not, not too saturated in color, but something kind of, uh, maybe dull browns and some... Like, if you had a bunch of copper coins and stuff, or nickels and loose chains laying around, and you threw them on the ground, that's kind of, like, the kind of color I'd want to use in here for, for flooring. Fortunately, um... I don't really have that. Hang on a sec here. I gotta take care of something. There we go. Remind me not to drink any more water for a bit. Ha <laughs> ha! Go watch a cartoon on my channel. You understand what just happened. Uh, well, I'll tell you exactly what just happened. A flea just bit me. And I said, dude, no. I will not. I will not partake in your action. You wanna bite me, buddy? You're gonna pay the price. Pay the price! Pay the price for biting. I wanna sleep now. Come on. There we go. The unfortunate thing is I live with cats. They're not my cats, but I stay at a place that has cats. And the cats are never in here. But yet, for some reason, there's fleas in my room. And I've been doing battle for them, with them for them for the past <laughs> uh, couple of days. I've, I've slowly been killing them all off, and it's been great. It's been, we've been waging war, and the war has been great. The fleas have been dying. I've been killing them all like... A freak, no. <laughs> but um, I become really skilled at killing fleas. Like there was one that I felt jump and land exactly on my foot. I'm like, ah, nice try, buddy. Welcome to death. And then I killed him. So slowly but surely they'll be weeded out, and then they will be dealt with, as fleas tend to be. But um, yeah, the the saga continues. I actually kind of want to do another cartoon sometime with uh, the fleas. Additional stories. God, now my arm itches. Goddamn asshole fleas. I hate them. I hate them! I hate them so much. Anyway, uh, so that goes there. Okay. Now, if I wanted to make a crossbar, crossbar would be here. Like that. Okay, yeah. Good, good. And this will continue like this. Alright. 
I guess I guess I'm building this episode. I didn't really have this in mind, but here we go. Let's do this. All right. So I believe we would want to have maybe a slope down like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like that's good. That's good. I like that. Oh, careful. Learn to jump right. Learn to jump right. There you go. You did it. Good job. I think that's the only tree I'm gonna have in here. I think that's probably gonna be the only tree that I will require for my needs because I do not desire any more than that. Let's see. So I believe we did a little bit of a stair step up. Dirt block there. That and that. I believe is what I did on that side, if I am not mistaken, which I might be. Very good possibility I might be mistaken on that. No, that, that looks about right. Looks about right. Okay, so, now this one over here will continue to go straight across, just like this. I'm running on a stone brick. That's fine. I got tons of this stuff. And it will go to about here. We need to create another one of those arch things. We gotta work out this, too. This I have not touched anything back here. We need to work on that. Okay, let me go get some more stone brick. I've got tons of the stuff just waiting to be used. We will use it for great, great things. I'm probably going to mix in some polished andesite in here as well, um, but I don't really have any of the uh, designs kind of worked out just yet. I also need to get a lot of glass. That's going to be another, another quite a big project for me to handle. I don't think there's any deserts nearby. Like, the server seems to be mostly... Um, like, uh, like plains and forests and stuff. I mean, you've got o oceans and stuff, and you can kind of dig out the, the sand there. I guess that kind of works. I should go, like, uh, find some underwater temple and raid it and have a good time there. Uh, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to have this just go right along the edge here, kind of like this. Uh, this is going to go straight forward. Okay, let's hop on over here. There we go. It's going to be really strange when I get to the, <laughs> the glass part here. Alright, we're going to have to go over here. Okay. Da, 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 da. Done it. We've done it. Uh, do we want it to be... Yeah. I want it to be like this. There we go. So, now, the rest of this will all be glassed in, except for probably, like, right here in the center. I want to have another... Hmm... I feel like it needs like a support beam or something going right down the center of this thing. Uh, the problem is, is find, <laughs> finding the center. Uh, let me go count this here. Hang on a sec. Whoa! Okay, we did it. Fell down. So, I have some unfortunate news. Um, basically what has happened is this entire building, like, lengthwise, is exactly... Uh, an even number. We cannot have a center divider going right down the middle. No crossbar. No crossbar. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, yeah, we probably don't even need it. We're probably okay. I think we will manage without having it. I do need to put something right here, though. Right up in here. And the other thing is, do I want to have this be open to the elements? Like, do I want it to be glass on this side? I think I do, actually. Although I do want to have take this back. I do want to have this be flush with the walkway. Push this back. You know, I think I'm gonna have to, have to get... Blah, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of this waterfall entirely. Like, this needs to be way, way bigger than it is. And we're gonna actually have this be like that. Yeah, there we go. And this needs to go down. Okay, cool. Shaping it. We're shaping it. Shaping the future. I'll worry about the landscaping later. That's kind of like off-camera work. It's not... You guys don't need to see that stuff. It's just me shoveling things. Just me shoveling all the things. We need some more of this. Alright. Okay, cool. Uh, the other thing I need to think about is lighting in here, and I'm not too sure what I want to do for that either. Uh, because if this is going to be open to the elements, I would need to have hanging lights. That's not a bad idea. I could detach some up to here and drop some. Then I have to put more. Uh, I have to put more beams in. I have to put more beams in if I was to do that. Urgh. So many decisions to be made. God damn it. Okay. 
Let me go to sleep again. Hang on a sec. So I'm at a little bit of a standstill with the, the old garden right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this room just a little bit more. Maybe put in some flooring as I've already done. Uh, let's see. So over here is going to be another walkway. Over here is going to be another walkway. And i got to figure out what kind of flooring I want in here. Um, oh, wrong button. Suppose around here we need... Uh, ooh, get some slabs. Get some slabs on that. Why don't we? It's probably a good idea. Slabs in particular, I think, is a really cool block, like as far as uh, mixing it into things. It's got like a different color gray than you normally would have. I got four here exactly waiting to be used. Uh, I'll get some polish on say, why don't we? And, uh, oak wood? No. Or bir that's birch wood, not oak wood. I think I'm all out of oak wood, aren't I? Nope, there's some. Alright, so I'm working out a bit of design here, and I kind of like where this is going. Uh, I'm just kind of messing around here. I don't really quite have, like, any predetermined ideas, but the way everything's shaping up, mm, it's looking really good. Um, I think what I need right here is actually some slabs, and I actually ran out completely just now. I can craft more because I got stone for days here, but I need to find slabs. I prefer using what I already have, and I know I have a ton of these things. Just gotta figure out where I put them all. This is why I need a storage room. This, uh... This doesn't really work very well for me. Um, yep, I'm gonna have to make some. I'm gonna have to make some. That's no problem. Got, we got more than enough. More than enough stone for us to last forever. There we go. And we'll put this down, and then we'll try figuring out... I'm probably just gonna fill the rest with just oak wood, honestly. Um, I would try to put in some spruce here, but I don't have any spruce trees. <laughs> yeah, I can dig it. I can dig it. Yeah, and then we'll have the, the doorway be, like, right in here. It'll be a, it'll have to be a two-wide door, but that's fine. I generally like to keep my doors even. I mean, not even, I mean odd. So I can do, uh, you know, fancy things with it. But this works out. This works out. I, I think this is okay. I, I like this. This is a good thing. There we go. So two doors will be here. Put in some more of these slabs, just kind of use them up. Got plenty more wood where this came from. Well, not currently, but I can definitely get some. I'm pr pretty much surrounded by the stuff. Uh, oak wood is, of course, a great commodity out here. As it is on the server, actually, there's tons of oak wood forests, like, everywhere. I really need to, need to go out and explore more and get, find, uh, find more biomes to get things from. Uh, I know that there is... Uh, a mesa somewhere, and I think it's like really long distance away. Like you have to basically have to go through the the Nether Hub to get to it. Wow, look at that sunset! Look at that sunset. Is it not majestic? Is it not majestic? I think it's very majestic. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm out of oak wood and I'm out of time, so I'm gonna get the heck out of here. If you guys like this episode of Diamond Society, by all means, please feel free to leave a like. Helps me out a bunch, helps the channel out a bunch, helps these fine folk out a bunch as well. Uh, subscribe for more action if you wish to see more action coming to your eyeballs and to your brain juices. And you should subscribe because it's free and it's cool and all that other stuff. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.